Created for the most discerning drivers in the world, M models uniquely combine power, agility, and innovation, unlike any other vehicle. But just how is this high-performance automotive icon crafted at M? It all starts in the BMW, fits in the BMW Research and Development Center, where the base car for an M car comes to life. It's a 3 Series, a 5 Series, a 6 Series, and it's a very good basis to start from. So we start with a BMW, and then we make a BMW M. To make an M car out of a regular BMW is, in fact, uh, very difficult because the regular BMWs are already have all the attributes of a real nice, sporty, luxurious car. We let them move ahead uh, in their development and then we jump on a little later where they have a more defined, a more a ripened uh, concept. We start from there to see what has to be improved, what has to be changed. Typically, more than 50% of the components in an M car are new and M specific. Also als Beispiel für den neuen M3, wir haben es mal ausgerechnet, es sind weit über 80 Prozent, die wir gegenüber dem Serienfahrzeug modifiziert haben. It's a brakes, it's a steering system, shock absorber, springs, anti-roll bars. Not that it's only differently adjusted, but the parts itself is different. Außer einem Längslenker an der Hinterachse wurde alles neu konzipiert. Und zwar mit der, mit der Zielsetzung Gewicht, Präzision, neue Kinematik. All dies führt eben dazu, dass die angesprochene Rückmeldung des Fahrzeuges weiter optimiert wird. Bremsenseitig wurde natürlich an die Leistung angepasst. Es kamen neue Bremsscheiben, größer dimensioniert, mit optimiertem Gewicht zum Einsatz. Und darauf angepasst werden muss natürlich auch wieder der Fahrzeugregler, also sprich ABS, DSC. Es ist sehr wichtig, to reduce the weight as much as possible on an M car. Because every kilogram that you don't need to accelerate, that you don't need to slow down, that makes a car better. At M, there is an unusually close relationship between engineering, physics, and design. At M Design, we have even our own engineers in our department sitting directly beside the designers. So it's not so free as designers maybe in other departments because the result of the M car is the only thing that counts. The motor engineers came to us and said that if we can deliver a little bit more room for the engine, then they can deliver more torque. The reason was we need more air volume above the engine. So the designer decided to make this power dome and made this power dome to beautiful design element and the motor engineers were very satisfied. Wenn wir einen neuen Motor entwickeln wollen, ist sicherlich einmal entscheidend, was wir uns selber vorstellen und wünschen. Zum anderen fragen wir uns natürlich auch und fragen unsere Kunden selber, was denn sie von einem neuen M-Fahrzeug, von einem neuen M-Motor erwarten. Engineers simulate the possibilities of every new engine on paper, then on the computer. Later, the engine designer gives it shape using computer-aided design. In the engine prototype workshop, hundreds of parts are assembled entirely by hands that know the shape and feel of every component. Once the prototype is ready for testing, it is installed in the dynamometer chamber. Inside walls 12 inches thick for safety, it runs at speeds up to 186 miles per hour while the exhaust reaches red-hot temperatures. When the engine is ready for the road, then real-world testing begins on the long-distance test rig, simulating racing speeds and maneuvers around the clock. But nothing beats the real torture test at Germany's most demanding and legendary racetrack, the Nürburgring Nordschleife. Ganz etwas Faszinierendes, mit einem neuen Auto, mit einem neuen Prototyp über die Nordschleife zu fahren. Man kennt nichts von dem Auto, man, weiß nur, man kennt nur die Nordschleife, man hört jedes Geräusch, man ist von jeder Reaktion des Autos fasziniert. We have those very well experienced and competent testing engineers and they know how to adjust all those different components. They are working in, in little steps to adjust the shock absorber, a little more and more rebound here. There's no computer out there that could do that. You need those people 
who understand how those components interact, and then you get to that high level of performance. That is the magic of M. One of these special M testing engineers is Bernd Lima, integration manager of the new M3. He drove the car hundreds of laps, changing parts, tweaking the suspension settings, and seeing how these differences improve the handling. Every new lap is a new experience, and only a little bit is changing, and then the behavior of the car or of your, of your driving is completely different. The prototypes are with every kind of mess technique ausgestattet, die jeden Bereich des Fahrzeugs messen oder kontrollieren. Aber darüber hinaus ist halt auch der, der Sinn des Testfahrers gefragt, der mit seinen eigenen Körpersinnen halt viele Reaktionen oder das Auto einfach spüren muss. Wie verhält es sich in der Kurve und ist halt ein wichtiges Messinstrument, das Popometer, was man so kennt. The Popo is basically the seat of the pants and the meter is a meter. And basically it defines everything what the driver, what a, an engineer feels when he's testing the car. Other companies try to copy that M feeling and they might put hundreds of computers and sensors in a car. But for this final re refinement, we only need one sensor and that's the very well experienced M testing engineer. When we like the car, when we defined it and made it to, to our own pleasure, most of our engineers are drivers and race drivers themselves. When we are pleased with it, then we say, okay, that's it, how an M car should be like. And then we sign it off.